Greetings everyone. Welcome back to my channel, Mo Bobbing. I'm your girl Mo. Thank you for joining me today. And um, thank you for checking out my channel. Um, I decided to pull some cards um, here for my, for my Light Sears deck. And from what I'm gathering, this is some really good energy. Um, if you've been manifesting maybe uh, a relationship or some t any type of money or new stability, whatever it is that is good for you, I definitely believe is getting ready to come in. Um, you have the Four of Wands, the King of Swords, the Wheel of Fortune, the Nine of Cups, the Page of Wands, the Three of Pentacles, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Justice card. Um, you have two major arcanas here, but all really good energy. You could be working with a, uh, an air sign or, well, all the elements are here, but you could definitely be working with an air sign. Um, uh, you could be a Libra or the person you deal, you're dealing with is a Libra um, because of the Justice card here. What I will say about uh, this situation is that um, it's your karmic justice. Whatever you spoke out into the universe, whatever you decided to uh, talk about with the universe or converse with the universe about, same difference. Um, you're getting it. I know today, today at work, I kind of like flipped out on the universe a little bit. I did, I'm not even gonna lie. Um, I kind of got teed off about some things and uh, I call judgment on a lot of things. I'm surprised the judgment card didn't come out, but I call judgment on a lot of things. I call judgment on a lot of people today too, to be honest with you, because I felt like um, it was getting to a point where um, I was always giving more than I was getting. And of course, a lot of times, yes, that is your fault. It definitely was my fault. I kind of knew better. It's just that I was just hoping for better. And that's the thing about hope. Um, you have to be careful with uh, putting your hope and your expectations into the wrong things. Um, however, getting back to this reading, what I, I'm, I'm feeling like it might be uh, a love offer coming in or... You got a Cancer, Spice, Pisces, Scorpio here, because Knight, um, the Knight of Cups is at the bottom of the deck, and it was also at the bottom of my Light Series deck before I shuffled it. Now you have the Knight of Wands and the Sun card. Could be dealing with the Leo. Could be dealing with an Aquarius. You're really manifesting. Look at this energy. It's amazing. Look at that. That's some really good energy. I'm sorry. Ugh. That's some really, really good energy. That's you really manifesting and getting exactly what you want. All you have to do is just hold on a little longer. And I'm telling you, it's gonna come in. You have the Six of Swords twice. And you also have the King of Swords show itself twice. So definitely, if you're an air sign, you're definitely in your energy. You're definitely in your power. You are doing everything that's right. Don't ever feel like just because something is taking a little longer than expected that it's not coming. Sometimes things just have to uh, plan out, well, go go about a certain way before they happen. Like there's levels to it. And I know people don't like hearing that for real because I don't like hearing it either. I was actually um, talking to Spirit today about how um, I think I've done I've done a lot of work and you know, I've done a lot of work on myself. I've done a lot of work um, healing myself. And I really do feel like to a certain degree, you know, when you start to see people, when you start to see other people get their blessings, what seem to be their blessings before you, um, I don't want you to feel like 
being jealous or having some type of envy is a bad thing. You know what I'm saying? Everything, thing, I believe things become bad when it's overdone, when you're not, when you're feeding too much into it and you get stuck in a certain type of energy, okay? But knowing that when you see other people, knowing that when you go into anything or when you're asking for anything or you you're wanting anything understand that the moment you put it out into the in the atmosphere the moment you speak it or write it or confess it whatever you do i don't know how everybody manifests differently but the moment you put that out there to the universe there are certain things that's going to start happening and in that process you may think that now, nowadays people think that things are just supposed to come overnight because everything has become so convenient you know life has become very very convenient and um it's just not the case with everything because you don't want to ever get something before you are ready for it whether it be physically mentally or emotionally maybe even materialistically because sometimes you 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 need a car sometimes to get to certain places so if you know that you need certain things understand that there's a process that you will have to go through to achieve whatever it is that you're going after and um Sometimes it does get hard. Sometimes it does get a bit frustrating, especially when you know you've been putting your all into something and you're just not getting the return that you expect. And I feel like one thing that I've always, one thing that's been hard for me to really grasp and I can honestly say is not putting my expectations into something. That was, that's very, very, that has been a very hard, hard thing for me to learn it's a lesson that I think that I have failed that over and over again and I'm not afraid afraid to say it because when you are a giving person and you've been giving for so long and you've been giving to so many people for so long at some point or another you're going to wake up and you're going to start being like okay well I've given out so much love. I've given out so much time. Why am I not getting that back? Or why am I not receiving anything? And that's where the frustration comes in at. Especially when you see people moving forward in life or what looks to be like they're moving forward in life. And because, you know, we some people do fake it. Let's just be honest. We're in the era of you know, fake it till you make it type shit. And sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. It just depends on what you're using it, that for. But anywho, um, when you think about, or when you see people moving forward, it's, it's, it's okay to, I feel like it's okay. I don't know about everybody, but I feel like it's okay to question spirit. I feel like it's okay to question God. Like, yo, now I know I've been doing this and this, but see, what you can't do is get caught up in how somebody else's process is going. Because what you have to do and what that person had to do is probably way two different things. And the more you stay the course, regardless of how hard it gets, and I know it does get really hard. I can really contest to the fact that some things do get really, really, really hard and, and situations become very painful and sometimes almost unbearable to, to carry. I want you to understand that your help is always around and that the more you stay strong, the more you fight through it, the more you push for, I'm telling you, it'll be all worth it in the end. You have a situation here right now that I'm looking at that you took the time out and put it, the action in with this Knight of Wands. Can't really see it, I'm sorry. And also, you took the time out 
and you had your heart into it with this Knight of Cups. And that's why you're reaping the benefits because you went about things the right way. You didn't try to cut corners. You stood in your power with the King of Swords and you looked at everything not only from a mind sense, but also from a heart sense. And with the these four of wands, stability, you stayed grounded, especially with this Ace of Pentacles. But somebody wants to come in and they want to work with you and they want to start something new. And they see you as this almost like a right here with this page of wands, almost like a breath of fresh air, dude. Like, and it's your karmic justice. Like you've been you you're deserving of this regardless of what it is to you regardless of how it resonates with you please take the messages as they resonate with you but regardless of that the will of fortune is here letting you know like you know what spirit is saying it's time for you to get your wish fulfillment like you you're right you've 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 kept this light-hearted energy so now, you know what? We're going to give it to you. And we're going to see what you're going to do with it. How are you going to handle it? Are you ready? Are you ready to receive it? Please don't shut yourself out from receiving it, okay? Don't do that because we tend to do that. We tend to do that a lot. We'll be thinking we're ready for something and then it falls in our lap and we'll be like, oh, shit. Well, I asked for it, but I didn't know it was going to be here right then. And you be like, and Spirit be like, well, you asked for it. So it's like, you said you was ready. Like, you talk all of this big boy shit. So let's get it popping. Like, let's see what's up. Like, tell me, show me. What's up? I think that's where Spirit coming from, to be honest with you. Because we got into a heater already. I ain't gonna lie. But yeah.